full on flood, bursting its banks. Well and truly. as possible for us in future generations to see what it was like and what sort of flooding we've had over the years. If you look at my other videos, there's, there's more flooding videos on, on YouTube in the Innisfail playlist. Just type in Innisfail flooding best this time. You're likely to find it. There's a few from over the last couple of years. A few lots of flooding. Anyway, I'm going to conserve battery. So don't just Try not to have to change battery again. It's pretty awkward when your hands are wet. You're trying to keep your camera water resistant. You've got to open ports and stuff to put batteries in. But anyway, we'll come back when we get to somewhere interesting. So I'm heading down to Miguel and Drive. It's currently have a look. Currently 8:02 a.m. Sunday the 17th of December 2023. It's all flooded. The corner of Owen and McGowan Drive. So, we might not be able to get through there unless we're going through the car park in central there. So, we'll have a bit of a look. So, Woolworths is closed. The whole arcade part there is closed. The, center, the old center point end. Wow. Huh. There's people who moved up after COVID. They've never seen anything like this before, never been through any cyclone stuff or flooding. Welcome to Nassau. Wow. Listen to all the warnings. Listen to ABC Far North Radio. It's one of the best ones to listen to for updated, updated information. Don't drive through it like this clown up here. drive through it. It's very smart. They tell you not to. All the emergency services in that day flooded to get it. People don't care. Plus every every clown's going to get in the way. Don't really keep going. The old guy's going to go through it looks like. Or is he going to stop and turn? Hey, it's turning. Good. Wow, it's flooded all the way to the top. And over. It's a, the old central car park. Good if I could get up top and have a look. That would be amazing. I could go through and get up to the top. But no. Because anyway, unless I went right around. Not a bad idea, okay. Stairs down towards the town pool.
down the side of Malox behind the chemist warehouse and under the, like the central car park about time they put some good drainage in I don't know if any drainage would help though any better drainage but yeah we can go down the driveway be beside Malox through. You can see the central car park there, food emporium. From the Gowan Drive. All right, we're going to go up on the top because it's there's stairs you can get through. Top upstairs. There you go through there. People are driving through it stupidly. We're flooded to get it, they don't take any notice. Should be police. At all these different places fining people for it. Oh, it can be a decent fine they'll stop. Unless they're rich and they just don't care. Anyway, let's go have a look down here. All right, it. it's Owen Street. I'll go up these stairs like most people are doing. Oh, you can see through down Lily Street there. Quite flooded down Lily. Bruce K. Gilliam, Gilliam side of it. More so the left. Facing my direction, what I'm facing. Down there. Yeah, both sides actually. Yeah, both sides. Wow. Uh, Died down for a little while, which is nice. That's what we're going to see people. Thank you. 
Lily Street, there's your senior citizen Paul. Give you a bit of context. So we're safe to get up over the guttering. A lot of people driving through it. No, I complain if your car gets ruined. Jump us out. Actually, I'm going to change my battery here. I'll be back. Okay. We're on Lily Street. It's currently 8:24 a.m. Lily Street. Down pool direction over there. Senior citizens. The food emporium car park down towards BP. You can usually walk down here, there's a space here to walk down safely. So we'll do it. Charging another battery. This is our third battery for the day. But it's worth it, getting all this footage. On the back of Lily Street. We're going to head down towards the roundabout and uh, Bamboo Creek Bridge. Hopefully we have enough memory card space, that's the other thing to worry about. Pretty full on. Well, let's get across while we can. Back where we just came from. Hopefully the stabilization is working. Sometimes in lower light it doesn't. Low lighting conditions. Has issues. This Heyman's electrical, to give you an idea. Water over road on the other side of Lily Street, over the highway. The other side there. The water's not over the highway here, but it's over when you go across the highway and down near the McDonald's car park and towards. Gladys Street and that. So I will head down. Oh. Truck stuck up there. Call in the motel, Mandara. is going to be getting through. Wow, that looks really nice actually, these flowers right here. I need to get, some, get a photo of that. Even in this weather, it looks beautiful. I don't think we're going to get down to the the Bamboo Creek Bridge. As a place, good. I hope they're stopping people. Going down through. Crazy. I'll try and get down to where the old Roscoe used to be. Came out sort of way as much as we can. Wow. All right. We'll stop the video until we get up closer. So.
much long enough for that sort of stuff. With arthritis and all that. No. Clear Street, that little Clear Street. Through here. Wow. Oh, I should be able to get across that. Back here. Department area. sort of get out and do this stuff. It gives me a bit more um, leeway to do stuff, show stuff. So I don't go anywhere where it's unsafe. I don't walk through the floodwaters, any of that. I go near it, as you see in videos. Uh, in this footage up. Sure the news will be down here at some stage. Getting the Bruce Highway being cut. Good, thanks, how are you? Oh. Is it wet enough for you? <laughs> Beautiful in this little weather. Very in this well. The units I like used to. Well, all the backpackers are helping out from the backpacker shack. Hats off to them. They're all jumping in and helping out. The Hogan and Associates, they're um, sandbagging, all that. Don't want to get in the way of them. You can see them in the video doing it. Oh, hats off to them for jumping in. I wish I could, but if I didn't have arthritis and fibromyalgia and all these other ailments, I would have jumped in as best I could anyway. So there's where your roundabout is, and all that coming up on there. McGowan Drive, where it meets the highway. Wow. I'm walking along beside the Council Works Department. I don't know if they still call it that, but that's what it was called for years, so that'll do. You get an idea, it's a roundabout up here in a roundabout way. Wow. go and Drive down there. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll stop for a sec. Just in case the image stabilisation is playing up. Well, it's anyone driving through this, which is good, because it's ridiculous to drive through. I mean, I'm not going to go too much further up. 
many shell as possible. We won't be able to go across the bridge or anything like that, but we can get a little bit closer. Put the shell over here. Back towards where we just came from. Those people are sandbagging that. Yeah, the bridge is fully flooded. Both the walking bridge and the other. The vehicle one. Bamboo Creek. Wow. Let's get some photos as well while we're here. Gonna make all this effort and get no photos. It's a video on the phone camera too. Bamboo Creek near the council works department near that big roundabout that came up. Just down from there. There's the Bamboo Creek Bridge down there. The water's nearly up to the top of the Innisfail traffic area sign. I think the Mig Hill side or whatever it's called. And that, wow. There's your roundabout. Sorry about the image stabilisation, it's not great in this weather. It's down towards Backpacker Shack where they're sandbagging Hogan and Associates. Backpackers have jumped in and they're helping out. Police are there. It's a Bruce Highway. This is the Bruce Highway. It's Hogan and Associates. Looking towards Kmart direction, the old Roscoe's direction. Backpackers. McGowan Drive, that direction, the old Roscoe's. And McGowan Drive, the big roundabout. A lot of people call it the Kmart roundabout. On near Kmart. And there's towards the Bamboo Creek Bridge. That's fully flooded. Both bridges, the pedestrian one as well nearly up to that sign, the Innisfail traffic area sign, end of traffic area, and all that. Zoom back out so you can see it a bit wider, get an idea. I'm not going any closer, of course. And there's back towards the old Roscoe's direction. The backpack is a from Backpacker Shack are helping out Hogan and Associates. Flood borders are right up to there. As you can see backpackers there. Hogan and Associates. Down towards the pool, Chowai. Food Emporium car park, all that down that direction. The Lost Park area that's all flooded. Across there.
Okay, so we're gonna head back. See what else we can find. I know there's a lot of places that recently as well on that that I just can't get to. It's just too much walking. The way my body is these days, I can't do it. Back in the old days, yeah, I would have done it. But we saw Coronation Drive earlier. Sorry about the camera shaking every now and then. Just gotta fix up things with the ag and all that. In here. It'd be interesting to be listening to the two way right now. Should have one with me, but water is just one. Here's the truck drivers. I know the North Johnson's closed off. It's um, flooded, that bridge. Been told that. Would like to go and get footage of all that sort of stuff, but can't. It's just too far. Idea where this is. Person. Yeah, looks like it. Council's going through.
tight tears don't bother. Yeah, they're stopping them. They should get in trouble for going through the barricade where the police were. The lights on and that. Cynthia's was telling me she's had a flooding all the way up to her door. And she said a hundred years ago the flooding went all the way up to this marker here, the top of this marker. Down this pole here. Yeah. Went all the way up to here. hundred years ago. Wow. Got that records from back then. Anyway, to keep nosing on, the BP's open. So it seems. Corner of Lovely Street and Ernest Street that I'll show. So, do updates about. They should have waited till after the cyclone before they knocked it down. Really, they should have. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, well, they might have a bit of a look down Lovely Street. To my left. Most the traffic lights are working. Sometimes in flooding, they don't work. So there's 3D McDonald's car park sort of direction. And this way, down here. There's, well they're not down the flats in the house. Probably I'll see that better now. Yeah, don't worry about people's houses, just go through like that. They wouldn't like it if it was their place getting done. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand those people. Listen to this snap out of it and do the right thing. Don't. Don't let it go into people's places. And don't play in the flood water. There's kids playing in the flood water over there. I know it would be fun as a kid, but it's not smart. Not safe. Just put it here, the corner of Gladdy and Lily Street here. Basically just about where I am now. Around the corner from the old sand link. Center link. <laughs> so center link is like, like photo. Like people say photos. But they don't say photography. They put a D in it. When it's not that. Uh, shouldn't be driving through it in cars at least. Four drives here maybe. That's it. Down the Kmart direction. Making a lot of waves, so a lot of other people. I was shaking my head. 
ahead of that guy. Making waves, going underneath the four people's place here on the corner of Lily and Gladys. Ridiculous. Couldn't care less, these people. About what happens to other people's properties. All they care about is their own, I think. Seems to be the way it is with a lot of these people, but they think they're awesome because they got four-wheel drives. Well, one day you'll come a cropper. Someone won't. Someone will disregard your place and trash it. This is the thing. Feel the water coming through. Go slow if you're going to go. Yep, yeah, they got the brains to turn around and go back. Excellent. Crazy. enough for you yeah best part that walks through the middle yeah. can't tell the lady she's just laughing giggling giggling huh? just walks like that. she would have seen where I walked before on the traffic island oh well what can you do you try and tell people I don't know she may not speak much English video I can't get any further distances than that but I think we're gonna go the back way and see we could get in here and have a look we might actually just have a quick look down here just came out again but we'll be further down we've got to see a little bit more it's not walking through that traffic island where it's a lot safer in the roundabout no that's how you end up getting sick from sewerage and all that stuff. Alrighty. Get down to Gladys Street again. The back way. Behind the row of houses. See what's happening. Like I said, this will probably be a multiple video. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen the others, it's worth having a look at the others. Might have to be part one, two, three, four. Just to be able to fit it. Street. Probably down Marina Lakes way would be flooded too, so we might head down there. See, the, the creek's up far enough here, the river, or the creek that goes into the so river is Maverick Creek. It's nearly up, like it'll end up a flooding going over the bank. Wow. That's crazy, see how close it is there? Hopefully it shows up on camera. Hoping all this footage shows up. Yeah, I'll try and put the names on the screen if I get a chance. I'm going to get this up pretty fast. So. Hey, a bit wet, hey. A bit wet for you, hey, doggy. 
Yeah. Some dogs are nice if you talk to them. They calm down. I'm not going to walk through it, of course. I keep saying. That might sound annoying, but I've got to make that clear. It's a lot clearer than this water, I'll tell you that. That's the bloody street. Hopefully, those two utes aren't ruined. It's that backpacker woman, that Asian woman. Should have listened. I don't know if she could listen, though. Maybe that's where she's going to, that, that place. Where she lives. Back towards the highway direction. Yeah, people still driving through. Bit of rubbish there. Looks like we've got a bit of water. Came out there, the yellow, yellow air building. direction. If I see anything I'll turn the camera back on. And to see down Gladys Street, the Tile Street and all that, the um, the Rena Lakes direction. I can't go the Cookabara Close way. That's alright, we'll go along the highway to go along Tile Street, past KFC and all that. And down that always floods. That's well known for it. Be able to show as much as we can anyway, where it's safe to. Yeah. Not a big fan of walking through puddles. Uh, yeah, we'll head down. Charles, I go straight down past BCF and all that. Well, that's cloudy, but that's the next one up. But go behind all that. Hey, we'll go past KFC. We might not take KFC because we're conserving battery, but yeah, battery's charging anyway. All the batteries. Well, that was dangerous. There's a big seed on there. Twisted my ankle on there's Lily Street again. Where we were before, where that lady come along. Asian lady. Where the laundromat is, I think that's where she was coming from. The laundromat. Let's see whether there's an opening over here and see how high this is. This part here has a steeper bank. It's not as bad. It's still pretty high though. The water level is pretty high. There. A little forklift is in that. 
Good yeah, rural supplies, they're always safe here. There seem to be somewhere that doesn't flood along this part. It's all further down here for some reason floods. I don't know if it's flooded now. Down towards Green Lake. That used to be a swamp originally. And when I first saw it, it was all swamp and then they started building on it. Same swamp that goes behind the old shell service station, the, the metro. So we're heading, to, we're heading towards Charles Street. We're near the old video Easy Starlicker at the moment, sort of diagonally. Across from there. We're going to cross over Grace Street and then go down Charles and have a look. It is flooded down there, you can see it. But I think the middle of the road's fine to walk down. Because I'm sure people will drive down there. Flash water all over me, they don't care. Let's have some consideration for, people, for other people. Their houses. And I'm going to continue to say it. Get it in people's heads pedestrians, whatever, you know, care about other people and their houses, units, flats, whatever, vehicles. Uh, Alright, we're crossing over Grace Street. I would go and look at Dalrymple Pool Esplanade, but it's a long walk. So I'm almost, well, by the time you do this, it's too late for anyone to pick me up. So it'll take so long to convert, it'll take so long to upload. But you'll get an idea of what happened here. All that. Yeah, I didn't need my umbrella, it's too windy. Wow. Just came out just a little bit more wide angle. You can do wider angle, but it's not good quality, it loses quality. So, this reminds me of the Gary Young video that he shows from the 90s. Where he come down here with a handy cam and record it on video tape. Yeah. Hopefully this turns out a bit clearer with the image stabilization and all that. And being 4K 60. 60 frames per second that is. Short sure arena likes to be closed. Wow. Well let's just stop here for a sec. In case the Im image stabilization is playing up, I know with GoPros they certainly do. That's why I don't use. Well, I don't know about the newer GoPros, but the old ones have, have issues. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll walk through the middle. on the road or petrol or something. See it there. Yeah, I've walked out here before and got a video in the past, but I think that might have been on the old channel. It may not be seeable. There you go. Parts of it we usually walk through to go to the next street. Wow. Now you can smell the petrol. Or oil or whatever it is. Yeah. It's crazy. Hope it doesn't get any higher and ends up in that stupid place. Upstairs. That's scary. Because these are up pretty high, these places. Yeah, you've got some pretty good stilts on them. Yeah, it is the best of times. Reborn. Check out old new Innisfil photos on Facebook. No, we're not finishing. Just putting that in. Yeah, check out old new Innisfil photos on Facebook for some photos I've taken. Check out Best of Times Reborn for the videos of this. Wow. There's your good start early learning. Daycare place. That's up pretty high. They built that pretty smart. The rubbish bin fully sub or nearly fully submerged. Yeah. Alice Street. A-L-I-C-E, Alice. Towards Ernest Street. Wow. See how fast that Coke bottle goes. Yeah, see it's all flooded through behind all that Donald Street and Michael Street and all that. So it always goes to Shell Street where we started. 
close floods through there. Being all swampy area. Because the weather's not boiling hot, the camera's handling it a bit more. Easy to overheat. Wow. Through there. So I can tell it. Only blue bucket. Hope the cars don't get flooded. No, I'll fire off it. If they haven't been already. Ugh. No, we never, never like people's misfortune. Never revel in it or you know, happy for people's misfortune. Not at all. Don't agree with being happy. No, there are a lot of people who get all excited and then people start to run. No, not me. I'm just showing the history. Alright. Wow. Over the years this was basically an annual thing that happened. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get all the way down to Arena Lakes. No, you can see here how full on it is. Wow. They got power. You can see the TV on. Let's get a generator. Oh, I don't think this is a power rated sort of issue. It's the old Villanova. Home for the aged. Yeah, it'd be nice to get through the back of there and see it. Because that way you can see all the um, all the swampy area behind it. Wow. Hope these people have got everything up in time. Around. Smart. <laughs> so this is the floods of December 2023. People will be talking about these. In 20, 30, 40 years time. This is like my Jasper. So after Cyclone like Jasper. Might be coming across the coast again and forming. So this could get worse. Yeah, well, I can't get out of these people why I'm not going into the, into the drink. safe way to get across to the footpath otherwise I would uh, go to Arena Lakes have a look there I can go all the way around but that's a lot that's a lot of walking oh, that's crazy come along and try to go through and wet me ridiculously because I don't, just don't care. Yeah, there's silly cars going through, both of them. I can wait a few minutes for me to go past, get to a safe place. Wouldn't hurt them to. sick of me saying that till the cows come home but yeah dumb it into people's heads think of all the damage it does just so they can sightsee
it's going to be a long, long videos, but worth it. But we can look back 20, 30 years time and see what it was like. I've walked through there before. Not when it's wet, of course, but this. Not when it's dry. We start early learning again. Yeah, it's flooding more here. The water over the road that wasn't there when I come along before. Yeah. Like they built the community center up by. And all that. Would have been intentional, knowing. So the people I was just talking to in Charles Street were saying high tide 1 p.m. so the water will never go up where they are, where it's just shown, all that area. Wow, that is crazy. Well, I'm gonna head down Grey Street towards the mobile, have a look. Batteries only parts so I might have to change to get another one to see anything extra. Otherwise, the best of times keeping memories alive for us and future generations to see. Imagine walking in this. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine it, because I am. But check the links in the description if you want to donate to the to the channel to help me get better equipment, to make better videos, better quality videos, and get places to do videos. And that, like, share, comment, subscribe, the usual stuff. Click the bell icon. And if we've still got battery left, I'll get some footage further up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned just in case I add some more to it. This is the one with the community center in it. There's no street sign anymore. Like there used to be. Oh, yeah, Donald Street. Yeah, Donald Street. I thought it was Donald, but I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, Donald Street, down to the community center and that. Wow. Crazy. Lucky a lot of these places are built up a little bit. A bit hilly. They get stuck though. Wow. Yeah, that all comes through from, like what I was saying before, all the swampy areas and that. Oh. Oh, good enough to wait to be, it would be nice. And they just look at you, like you. Yeah, it's worse up here than it was when I came in. So I'll show it. And towards Gordon Street and that. She was van stored our electrics, mechanical. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to drive through and wet me. All these people. It's getting windier. It's getting worse. Come on here. Sadly, I have to walk right out in the road to, to avoid walking through the pod waters. There's Page Park across there, Repco, 
all that to give you an idea of where this is. There's Gordon Street down there, where it says Gecko's Auto Electrics. Lucky they're built up a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be worse a lot more. Even where um, Westwood is, so. where um, where I started my videos just before. Wow, Tony. There's the Gordon Street. Gordon and Grace Street. We might get on the cover here and change battery so we can get a bit more footage. We're gonna have to get right out. Oh, we go all the way. Uh, there we go further down. Down Gordon Street and get across. So that's the thing. You look for solutions. I look for solutions. Look down here. <coughs> There's not as much flooding so I can get across the guttering down with that pole at the first light pole is oh the, the first city pole. Yeah, geckos. Or oh, Grecos? Might be Grecos. G-R-E-C-O-S. Yeah, Grecos. Sorry if I got the name wrong. Anyone watching? Yep, the fibers are going off. I thought you need in this sort of weather, fibers going off. Coming after you. Now we can go across. No worries, and go back around. I need somewhere to put my bag down and change the battery. It's a lot easier. The batteries will be charged by now. The last two. It's worth spending the money to get the triple chargers. The charge through USB so you can use them with the power bank. Gordon Street sign, the giveaway sign. So I can get around it here. Quite windy. There's a spot up here I might be able to stop. Yeah, that's a lot worse there now. Pelican Street. That high tide. Crazy. Sort of like the old days. So I claim joy and all that. Justin. And so forth. Just goes to Marine and Outdoors. There's people undercover. Makes it hard for me to get undercover. Let's see. I won't be able to get any further along here. Nineteen percent battery. So we'll stop over here and change it. Michael Street up there. Well, yeah, don't worry about people's businesses. Ah, oh, right, that's that's shocking. That's horrible. Should be a police stopping that. Going full speed. So therefore, I'll have to go all the way down where I just was, and come all the way out, and walk on the road in there, in the middle like I did earlier, on the way in. All right, well I'm going to change batteries and I'll be back. Okay, we're back with a fresh new battery. Well, the only thing that might run out is memory cards, because batteries are getting re redone and redone and redone, recharged and all that. So we've got to go all the way down here to get across again like we did earlier so we can get out into the middle and walk along just Gordon Street yeah police are stopping people near 180 telling them stuff I don't know I didn't hear what they were saying 
but yeah. I'd say the normal spots like Laurie Street, Oak Street, Lawrence Road, all that'll be flooded where it normally is. Places I normally show, but a too much to get out to when you're walking. Yeah, the fibers are going off again. Same spot. Uh, the police can't make me walk through the flood waters. I ain't doing that. Did that one year and got as sick as anything. Right for the best. See what they say. People are getting turned back. Especially people that are just sightseeing and not really don't have to be over there. Don't have to be going up that way. I've got to get home. That's my thing too. Traffic light stopped him. See what they say to me. Probably won't be able to hear it on video because of all the wind, but I'll relay it. There's Pelican Street, the Coastal Marina had doors on the front row. Waters have no choice. One was nice, I said yep. And the other one was like nah. <laughs> I understand that, I get it. But it's annoying for me. So I know. Yeah, it's safe. And they've got flood waters that are <laughs> Vehicles, I know that. Ugh. Car Buddha Street if I say. Car wash. Well that is a mobile. I feel they're closed. Yeah, one of those offices was really nice, the other one was there. I don't want to say anymore. So it's all flooded up here. There's Car Buddha Street. Mobile direction, over here, metro, of course the mobile's closed, as they should be. Oh. Car park next to the mobile, between the mobile and the metro, the battery centre. Used to have the free parking sign, used to have a Goondy Hill sign. See all the water bubbling there where there's a drain. Drain struggling with us. I'm going to go to the front of the 
I said yes. So. Metro. Starting to flood. Well, once we can get it for the safer road, we'll go back across because I'm off the road. Out of the way. There's only one person doing that there. No one's helping them. Empire. Anyway, I can get onto a footpath. So that's a plus. Whew. Wow. So the Glendy Hill's open. Glendy Hill Pub, of course. Take advantage of the situation. Don't agree with that. Yes, we get my footage saved. All my footage saved. Guess I gotta go out again. If ever in these situations there's flooding like this, and somebody that I know personally wants to take me around to help me get videos better, safely of course, then please let me know. Like it was still flooding when this video is put up. I mean, it'll take a while. YouTube's processing always takes forever. But anyway, this is the best of times keeping memories alive for us future generations to see. Check the links in the description if you want to donate to the channel. There's a PayPal link. Feel free. That'll all go towards the channel. Better equipment to get better videos. And uh, stay safe and we'll catch you in the next one.